All right, motorcycle squibs, listen up. Here's the deal. We talk a lot about you guys doing 186 miles per hour on the highway wearing flip-flops and t-shirts and nothing else. But really, I kind of want you to be a little bit safer than that. Um, I think we like to joke here on the channel that you're just wearing dumb gear and doing dumb stuff. And trust me, I do have a dash of dumb motorcycle rider behavior in me. You guys know I literally looped the giveaway WR in a parking lot and have been known to ride in kind of dumb ways from time to time. But we like to keep it safe and above board here on the channel. So today, we're gonna take a look at some of the common squid mistakes that riders make that they can very easily address and keep themselves a lot safer safer. We're going to talk about gear today and some of those mistakes that they're making. So stick around. It's going to be a good one. All right, guys, the first place you are messing up if you are not wearing the right gear is your boots. Now, We've said it a lot here on the channel that you guys out there riding in your vans and your flip flops, you're doing yourself a disservice, but there's a very specific reason why. If you look at a common pair of tennis shoes, I have these very beat up Adidas that I keep here at the shop. Um, this is not gonna provide you any sort of meaningful protection. Even if you have a low speed parking lot tip over, a peg could just go right through this fabric and literally stab your foot. And something like this, you can pick up at the store for 50 or 60 bucks, maybe 80 bucks if they're a name brand or something. But honestly, if you just spend just, just a little bit more guys like 20 or 30 bucks more you can get a proper motorcycle specific shoe so if you don't want to look like a power ranger you don't like wearing smx's like i do a proper motorcycle boot you can get yourself a motorcycle shoe like this that actually has a good level of protection this right here has a pad right at your ankle so that if your peg comes down or you have a low speed tip over on your motorcycle you can actually still be protected you actually have a little shifter guard right here too so you don't mess up your shoe something like this is super important guys and it's not much more money to just just get something like this. Now, if you do want to get something a little bit more sporty, you can get yourself a boot like this. This one runs about $130 and it looks a little bit more sporty. You got a carbon fiber accent right there. And if you want that more sport bike rider aesthetic, you can actually still get it in a nice shoe like this. Now, you guys know that I wear these tried and true SMXs over here, Alpine Stars. Now we don't stock these on our store just yet, which by the way, you can pick up these boots over here and these shoes on YN Moto. Hit the link down below. Get to win our free giveaway motorcycles. But the SMXs, we don't stock just yet, but we are working on Alpine Stars on the store. Now, this boot's incredible because as you can see, it's a proper full-size motorcycle boot. Super serious stuff, very sturdy, gonna protect you in all kinds of situations. I use these for all kinds of riding. But a point I wanted to make as well is that if you are looking into dual sport riding or you're trying to get off-road, you definitely want a proper full-size boot, which we do sell on the store. You're gonna want something that goes up to your calves, protects you, maybe even waterproof like this one right here. It is super important to have a proper motorcycle boot when you're considering riding a motorcycle. So guys, skip the tennis shoes over here. Do not ride around in vans. Don't let me catch you riding in vans. Now let's move on to the next item. The next thing I see that squids do on their bikes that make me really cringe are the lack of gloves. Anytime I see a rider rolling around with no gloves, I just think of how much their hands would just get torn up, even in a low speed situation, coming down on their motorcycle on the asphalt. Guys, if you've ever skateboarded as a young kid or came off your bicycle as a young kid, you know that your injuries on your hands can be pretty dicey. So. Even wearing something as simple as like a kind of workshop glove like this is gonna help. But honestly, these are gonna get torn up really fast too, even in a slow speed situation. Even if you come off your bike at 20 miles per hour, uh, these are just gonna be completely torn apart in a matter of moments. So that's why we recommend getting an actual motorcycle specific glove. These are also sold in the YN Motor Store, just 55 bucks, and you can actually protect yourself a ton. The big difference these have over something like a workmanship glove is that you have the palm protection right there. So if you come down on your hand, protects the palm a little bit. You got knuckle protection right here, different fibers, different types of fibers right here as well. You got leather, textile, different mesh materials right there to keep your hands nice and cool as well. So a motorcycle specific glove is gonna come in handy, no pun intended. Now, if you wanted to step up a little bit further than that, you can get a pretty sport specific gloves. It's just gonna have better impact protection, a little bit more around the cuff here. You can go to a full gauntlet set as well if you wanna be super safe. I personally think that's a little bit of overkill on the street and I don't like the way it feels. I like wearing those on track, obviously, but something like this is gonna definitely be so much better for you than just simply not wearing gloves. Make sure you wear gloves when you ride your bike, because if you do come off, you're probably gonna put your hands out and you don't want your hands to get all torn up. All right guys, the next thing I see motorcycle squids doing, and this one is pretty common here in Texas as well as I've seen, is riding without a helmet. Guys, 
There's basically no excuse to ride a bike without a helmet. Put your lid on, be safe. It does not take much to have a serious life altering injury on your brain. Simple, small impact to the temple could literally leave you dead or brain damage for life. So wearing a helmet is the best thing you can do on your motorcycle and it is unconscionable to me that anyone would ride without one, but I digress. Getting into something simple like this S2100 helmet here, you want to look for a DOT and an ECE sticker when it comes to buying a helmet. Those two stickers will tell you that it's been approved by the Department of Transportation here in America and the higher standard of ECE, which is the European standard for helmets as well. Something like this SS2100 is going to keep you safe in the event of a crash and is going to keep you comfortable as well when you ride. People don't think about it, but there's lots of wind noise when you ride. So you want a helmet or at least earplugs as well when you ride. Now, I've heard a lot of comments of people saying, well, Yami, you know, a more expensive helmet's going to be a more protective helmet, right? Well, that's not necessarily the case. You look at something like this Arai Corsair X here in the Haga livery, which is my personal helmet that I use for vlogging around town. And Yes, this helmet is extremely expensive versus something like this. It's definitely a lot more than $170 over here. But what you're really paying for are for some of the additional technologies and features found in this helmet. This has a better shape overall, so it's gonna help glance off as a ride would tell you. It also has way better cheek padding and way better fit and finish on this helmet. So it's a lot more comfortable on the daily ride. It's got venting technology, more airflow, and overall it's just a much more premium experience on your head versus something like that SS2100. I would liken it to the comparison between a Toyota Corolla and a Lexus. Both are vehicles that are gonna get you safely down the road, just one has a little bit better features and benefits and stuff like that as well. Something like this Arai here is also Snell rated, which is a little bit higher rating versus the DOT and the ECE. And if you have the budget and you have the means, I definitely recommend picking up something premium like this Arai over here. Get yourself the best level of protection possible when it comes to your helmets. Arai helmets have actually saved my life more than once, so I trust them with all ounce of my being. But if you are a beginner rider, something like this SS2100 is gonna protect you and keep you safe and is better than no helmet, which you guys really shouldn't be doing. One final point I'd like to make in this video is a bit of a misconception. Now, everyone thinks of motorcycling and they kind of think of that cool black leather jacket. Maybe they saw, you know, uh, Marlon Brando wearing when he was on his Triumph or maybe Steve McQueen, the cool black biker jacket. And my controversial opinion here is that if you're a brand new rider and you're just getting your bearings on your motorcycle, I think having a proper set of boots, proper set of gloves, a long sleeve t-shirt and a helmet is probably gonna get you 90% of the way there when you come to learn on your motorcycle. Why am I saying that? Well, I believe that beginner riders most likely situation where they're gonna come off the bike is gonna be a slow speed tip over and you're gonna wanna be protected at your ankle and your feet way more than just your arms and your chest and stuff like that. And that's not to say that you shouldn't get a motorcycle jacket. I wear a motorcycle jacket literally every time that I ride. But I think that when you're starting out riding, it might not be the most important thing to get. I would forego a jacket, in my opinion, to get a proper set of boots. Now, you get something cool like this AGV Sport eventually, something perforated leather with armor and stuff like that, get yourself riding feeling good. But if you're just getting started and you are on a super big budget, definitely prioritize the helmet, the boots, and the gloves first. Another note about riding pants is I think they're very important too. I always wear my riding pants, they're slide resistant. I've got knee protectors in them as well. But if you're just starting out, I think a heavy duty pair of denim is gonna serve you really well while you're just figuring out your controls on your motorcycle. So again, prioritize the helmet, the gloves, and the boots first before you start looking at those cool jackets and pants and stuff like that. All right, squids, I hope you learned something today. I hope you learned that you just have to spend a little bit more money and time on your gear, and it will make a vast difference and improvement over the safety in your riding. And remember, we all love doing dumb stuff on our motorcycles. It's why we like riding. We like to feel the wind in our hair, or lack thereof in my case, and have some fun on two wheels, but it is very important to be safe on your ride. Remember what we said, helmets, gloves, and boots are gonna get you 90% of the way there when you're learning and riding your motorcycle. Most of the stuff we feature to today you can find on our store YN Moto. Hit the link down below and get yourself your pieces of gear over there. You can also get entered to win our giveaway motorcycles which is pretty sweet. Every dollar you spend over there gets an entry to win and is one of the best ways to support what we do here on this channel. So if you like what you've seen, you want to support us but you don't want to join our community or subscribe even, you don't want to see the Turbo Busa come into existence, well then feel free to just buy yourself some tires or some pieces of gear over on our store. We'll catch you in the next one Squid. See you later. Oh, hey, you're still here. I can't believe you made it to the end of the video. Not many people do. 
Just for you, I have a little treat. Hit this link over here, check out the next video on the Yemen Noob catalog. What's gonna happen in it? I don't really know. Maybe there's a boost in it, maybe there's some cool wheelies, maybe there's some fun memes. Probably, who can say?